All right. Well, Paul Keating said during the week that the trade sanctions by China were no big deal. What did you make of that? Well, look, I, I don't think the, the $20 billion worth of trade that we lost as a result of uh, the difficulties with China um, is, a small, is a small amount of money, with all due respect to uh, the former Prime Minister. Um, if um, <clears throat> you're um, a wine producer and you were selling into uh, to China, it's significantly affected your business. If you're a barley producer um, selling into China, it's had an effect on your, uh, on your income. Uh, all of the other products, uh, cotton, uh, timber, uh, wheat, all of those, uh, all of those other products have um, um, had a, you know, obviously been negatively affected. My job is to try and get the uh, relationship back to a stable relationship, so that we can have a mature relationship uh, with uh, with China, and that the current um, disputes that we've got with China can be resolved in a amicable um, way through discussion, um, and that we can get back to that. Um, uh, stable relationship that we had uh, prior to these problems. What did you make of Mr Keating's comments generally? Uh, look, I have to say this. Um, I did not agree with his um, criticism uh, generally of, uh, of the AUKUS uh, uh, arrangements. I think they are sensible arrangements uh, given, you know, that we're in 2023 20, uh, and the particular uh, defence arrangements that we need to... Uh, introduced to um, uh, defend our country. I thought uh, his criticism um, of uh, Foreign Minister Wong was com completely unfair. Um, in my view, um, Minister Wong is turning out to be one of the finest foreign ministers that I've ever seen in this country in my lifetime. And of course, um, you know, Defence Minister Miles doing a terrific job and... Um, uh, and uh, our Prime Minister has been working very, very hard to restore relationships which were damaged with a range of countries over the period uh, of the last few years. Do you think we'll see TikTok banned from government devices, as has been speculated over the weekend? Um, look, that's not in my uh, portfolio, uh, Andrew, so I'm happy to leave that to, uh, All right. uh, to one of my colleagues to uh, a... um, deal with and... Uh, and uh, respond to you. There's obviously a real fillip to your hometown of Adelaide with this AUKUS announcement, but already there's some scrapping amongst the states over where a nuclear waste depository would go. Do you see that facility in your home state? Um, well, of course, there was some discussion already about um, a, um, uh, a low-scale um, nuclear facility in, uh, in Kimber. I saw uh, during last week that there was uh, some suggestion that Western Australia um, is moving in that uh, direction uh, with a with a private uh, company. Um, these are issues that are, are for the future. Um, I've got no doubt that uh, we will resolve the issue. They're not easy issues, but um, I've got no doubt that they will be resolved uh, and that they'll be resolved in an amicable sort of way um, between the states.